Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2! This morning we had a guy come to fix a bath panel for us. He came at 9.30, we thought he would be about an hour. I was like, he's probably gonna be like an hour and a half. He didn't leave till like after 12. So we kind of like got up. I'm really tired, went to bed quite late last night. And I was like really looking forward to a lie-in. But we obviously like wanting to get up and stuff before he came. But I was like, well like get ready and stuff when he goes at like half 10. But it was like past 12, so we had a very slow morning, kind of stuck, because he was like cutting the bath panel out here. So we were like both stuck in either the kitchen or the lounge, which was absolutely fine. He was so nice, I'm so grateful that he's done it. But it meant that the morning was like just gone. We're seeing our friends today, Adam and Iona, who have come up from Brighton, and they're, they're just running a bit late. I think we're now gonna see them at three. I don't know if they're coming here. Are they coming here first or are we meeting them there? Okay, we're gonna go and meet them at a place down the road called Artist Residence, which is where we go with our friends quite a lot. I went there last weekend with our friends. It's just quite a nice place. It's a hotel, but it's got like a bar slash cafe slash restaurant, which I quite like. It's kind of a bit of everything. Like you can have a cocktail, you can have a beer, or you can like have a coffee and chill. There's like a fireplace and a little outdoor bit that's like covered over and heated, but it's like really, really cute. So we do like going there quite a lot. It's also just on the way into town. So we walk past it and we're gonna go have a drink with them there. Then we've got dinner on the harbour side tonight at six-ish. And then we're going to par 59, which is like a crazy golf thing. We did it for Toby's birthday and it was a lot of fun. And we are going there, I think about eight. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. They don't want to be on camera. So it's another one of those where you're probably just going to see a lot of like time lapses and shots of things. Did our advent calendars this morning. I might actually go up and show you what we got because we did it whilst the guy was here. So I didn't really want to get my camera out and start filming. And I have just had my Nomo one. And today I got a little penguin. This is cute. I like this. I really like Nomo chocolate. And my friend got me this, so I might send her a little picture and be like, I opened it, thank you. Right now I have a bit of a headache. I've been suffering with migraines recently, but I think I'm just, well, I'm losing my voice. I think I'm just really, really tired and hungry. So I'm gonna eat something and make a cup of tea and then get ready to go. I thought whilst the kettle was boiling, I'll show you the tree as well. I need to just straighten up the star. I don't think I actually did that, which literally is like a centimeter from the ceiling. That was like such good, such good height. So we decorated it, finished it last night. It looks so cute. I don't love this tree skirt. Ignore the floor, by the way. It looks really dirty. It comes up like this on camera. It's natural limestone and it's the bane of my life. But that's an, a story for another time that nobody asked for. Um, some presents for our friends who are coming and just like some presents and stuff that we haven't wrapped, but I've just like gathered in like a big bag for life at the back so that we can then wrap them. So some of the new decorations that we've got this year, Toby's parents got us this pizza slice. I feel like if you know Toby and I, you know we love pizza. And I bought this ketchup bottle because every it's like a running joke with everyone that I just drown everything I eat in ketchup. And I saw that and I was like, I have to get this. I got this one last year when my grandmother passed away. So I was excited to get that one back on the tree. My little storm, stormtrooper from the tattoo convention when I got my tattoo, one of my tattoos earlier this year. I've written like dates and places on the on everything. So like it's got like a date and a place. This was from Woodbridge in Suffolk last year. These little guys, these little Santas are from Paris. Little maracas from Madrid. This little guy, he looks like a Nando's chicken. He is from Faro. We got this bag as a bit of a joke last year in Manchester because I saw a Chanel that I really, really wanted. So we got the bag as like a bit of a joke in Selfridges. I have a lot of decorations from Tynmouth because my best friend lives in Tynmouth. So I go there a couple of times a year and I always get a decoration. So a lot of them are from Tynmouth. This one's from Nurka. This one's from Edinburgh, I think. Yeah, Edinburgh 2017. And you would guess correctly that this little Gaudi Santa is from Barcelona. And we got the Nadole Clawin. That was from Wales, Cardiff, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, we've got loads of different ones. Again, like Edinburgh, Scotland, this big fat snowman. He's from Iceland. Um, it's such a nice tradition. I'm really glad I started doing this. I started doing this quite a few years ago. And I'm really, really glad that I did because... I really, really like to collect things when I go away. I love collecting things, but I'm not a big fan of like fridge magnets or getting a mug every time you go somewhere. I want something that's like smaller 
or like not so like cluttered in everyday life and Christmas decorations are just perfect because I love Christmas I also feel like it's a nice time to like reflect over the year and like your life and like memories and things and it's just like a nice time to like look back over things so I love like every year getting them out and like looking back over all the trips we've taken and then like adding on the new ones too I've also got a little nest of Santas here I wasn't actually going to put these up this year but Toby really liked them and he put them here so we've got the little nest of Santas and some foliage. Um, I've got this reindeer light. Again, my friend got me that a few years ago. Love it. Some foliage here in our little bar area. Just some foliage here by the door. And we've got some like berry foliage here. We also got a little Christmas card this morning from my nieces, which is just the cutest thing ever. I love that it says Merry Christmas and toby really enjoyed that she's obviously written like dear emma and toby <laughs> merry christmas love and then crossed out the love to write lots of love i thought that was so cute buddy has been terrified this morning because the guy was cutting the bath panel with a really loud circular saw for a very very long time wasn't he and she was hidden upstairs onto the bed so we had to say sorry with um her advent calendars which i think i think she forgives us she loves those advent calendars it's really cold are you cold i am cold yeah i feel like my hands are gonna get cold and i need to pull my sleeves out i really want to get a nicer baker boy hat but i've been struggling to find one apart from ysl which is just is it worth spending that money on a baker boy maybe i wear it all the time off to see our friends i mentioned we're going to pizza express and par 59 blah, blah. You excited? I am excited. Cool. I'm trying to avoid all the bins. I'm gonna have a match latte and then a cocktail or a beer. I'm gonna have a beer. It's the sun. It's just so cloudy. Wow. Yeah, the moon's not full now. It was full like last Monday. Okay. Hey. Are you enjoying the sun? <laughs> yeah, that was really embarrassing. I just saw the sun and was like, oh my god, I love that. It really does look like the moon because it's so misty today. Can you see it? Does it like come off on camera how it looks in Not really. IRL? Not really. Guys, we're absolutely bloody freezing our tits off. Yep. And our hands. About what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide, falling in love. everyone it's half 12 and we've just got home <laughs> i need to take my hat off i'm gonna have serious hat hair when i take this off i feel like it's gonna be like stuck to my head and frizzy um yeah we've just got back we had such a great night with our friends well day and night with our friends we met up for a drink had a few drinks down the road went out what you sound a little bit like you're losing your voice I know, I'm I'm like a bit worried about it. There was a point earlier where I said something and I got really squeaky and I was like, it's happening again. Yeah. When um, our friends got married in October, I was already feeling, I was really, really ill the week leading up to it and I was like, I have to like power through for the wedding. And literally the day of their wedding, progressively throughout the day, I started losing my voice. And by the end of the night, I was literally like, at the end of the night of their wedding, I couldn't speak at all. I was literally like barely whispering and everyone was like joking because I'm like the loudest person who likes to talk the most. And everyone was like, this must be really hard for you <laughs> having to not be able to speak. And I was like, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And then tonight I said to Toby, I was like, I think it's happening again because I've never lost my voice. You know, some people just go, like, lose their voice every time they like go on a night out or like go to a gig and like sing and they're like, oh, I lose my voice. I've never lost my voice, so it was quite traumatic, but I think it's happening. 
This is gonna be awful. It sounds yeah. It sounds like early. It sounds like early it, it literally swap. sounds like what happened last yeah. time. So I really hope I'm not gonna get sick, and I hope I'm not gonna lose my voice. I'm gonna go and rest my instrument. Are you coming in? <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Um, I enjoyed the way you called your voice. Your it's instrument. my instrument. Um, Recently, you've really been making it your instrument. Toby laughed at me yesterday because he said I, I sounded like, you know when people sing and then they like really try, he was like, oh you really tried then? And I was like, did I? Yeah. So now I keep like really trying. You gave trying. Like the, the X factor. Yeah. Maybe I should apply. We're home. That's by And we're really, I'm really tired of you. Yeah. I'm fucking knackered. I can't wait to get in bed. Um, we've just made a hot water bottle. See, did you hear the squeak? <laughs> That's the squeak that happened before. Um, I've just made my hot water bottle and we need to get to bed because tomorrow we just have, tomorrow's like one of those days before you go away where there's just like a million and one annoying things to do. Like I've got to go get Buddy's litter, do the litter tray, do the washing, get that dry and like put away, get the bedding ready for Alex and Ruth when they come to stay. Just open like prepping. Huh? Open turn up and come to Get our advent calendars. Oh yeah, are we gonna open all the days for Paris before we go? Mm -hmm. Should we open yeah. tomorrow's now? Yeah, shall we do and that? Because this has been a bit of a non vlog, next hasn't it? Five days tomorrow. Okay. Or should we open all five <laughs> days now? <laughs> no. Okay, let's go open the other advent calendar. Oh, we're gonna miss you so much. This is the longest we've left, buddy. And I'm really sad. She's so cute. <laughs> Do other people like do this with their cats? Is anyone else? I don't think anyone's as obsessed with their cat as we are with Buddy. Like I, I truly, truly don't think they are. You've got her really high. You hold her a bit lower. You're like choking her out. <laughs> Look, I don't know how this has happened, but I've got this little like capsule dish. That's so cute. And it's ended up having so many hair bands in, and that's this is what you're after, isn't it? You can't have the one on my wrist. Do you want this one? You just want to smell. And thank you everyone for watching Vlogmas Day 1. It's making me really happy to like see everyone watching it. Oh, this one. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. You can do it. So this is Toby's mum made us this. Well, mum and dad, but we know your mum made <laughs> yeah. it. My dad had no. I feel bad because I'm always like, I always call it like the advent calendar from your mum. And I feel like I'm just like completely disregarding your dad. But the truth is that probably is how it went down. Ugh. That's so cute. It's got my name on it. Oh, it's a little bath bomb. And it says, you're the bomb, Emma. <laughs> that is so cute. Do we have a bath in Paris? I don't think we do, do we? I have to save that for when we get back. That is so cute. Oh, tough tits for you today. That's okay. I'm let's not, go, let's go open your, your rituals one and that'll make you feel better. I love this advent calendar, it's so nice. Sorry. Oh, cute. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I think God. it's such a cute <laughs> advent calendar. Candle. I love it, it's so pretty. Oh, okay. oh for God's sake, I'm sick of my I'll voice. I'll read the Transform Your Home into a Fragrant Heaven of Violent and. Haven. Oris. Violent? <laughs> Violet. Violet and Oris by light, lighting this candle on the first Sunday of December. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> like a little ritual. Oh, that's oh nice. I guess that's why it's rituals. Can I smell it? Smell it and what's it like? Mm, like a spa. It smells a bit white company. Oh, like a, nice, nothing strong, but. Oh God, that is really nice. nice. That's like a fresh cottony smell. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Right, so I'm going number three. Bud, oh. can you is that Dr. lip balm? Dr. Plumping Lip Oil. That sounds nice. Oh my God. <laughs> number three. Dial up the drama, darling. What do we think that might be? Take a guess. Who would say that? You guess. Without I think it's going to be Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, me and my squeaky voice are going to go now. Toby's going to jump in the shower. I'm going to go wash my face and we're going to get in bed. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Vlogmas Day 2. And we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Bye, Bye guys.